I don't, I don't necessarily need to use it all the time anyway. So, uh, how's everyone doing? You good? Oh, I'm Dynamo, in case you don't know. Um, I'm going to show you some magic. But uh, first and foremost, I got to thank these guys who are, you know, these are the real common guy on the street performers who come out here every day and entertain you guys. So when I finish, then make sure you stick around to watch some of these guys because, you know, I'm here right now. I'm going to do a few things and um, if you like what you see, then uh, you see these ladies and gentlemen scattered around with the buckets. If you can put any donations in there, then that'll be good. But anyway, let's do some magic. You ready? I have to do better than that. I need to warm you guys up. Okay, so everyone put your hands out like this. Put your hands like this. And do it. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Too soon. Um, everyone put your hands out like this though, seriously, yeah? Put your phones away for a second. Yeah? Make sure you've got nothing in your hands. Point your thumbs towards the ground. Yeah? Cross your hands over. Together. Squeeze tight. Yeah, squeeze tight. Just, that's perfect, yeah. Are you going to do it as well, mate? Not getting involved? No. I'll tell you what, everyone squeeze tight, yeah. head to the left, the other left, <laughs> then the right. Now without letting go, just do this, one, two, three. Oh, okay, just me then. Um, well, I'm definitely warmed up, I'm not so sure about you guys. Um, I'll tell you how I did that though. Basically, my hand, uh, let me see, if I move this back a little bit, you can, you can see the floor, right? My hand, I can actually go... Uh, all the way around. Oh, even, does that feel real? Is my hand real? Bam! Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. Sorry, sorry. Look, my hand is real. In fact, you can see this hand, right? Yeah? Everyone can see this hand? Watch. <laughs> don't try that at home, kids. Let's go. Uh, no, don't try that at home. But yeah, I'm warmed up. I'm ready to go. I think you guys are just about ready. So, yeah, let's do this. Every single one of you now, just clear your minds. That was quick. <laughs> I want all of you to think of a playing card. Any card you want from a deck of cards, but not the jokers, because I don't have any jokers in the pack. Everyone got a card in mind? Okay, I'm going to take this pack. But you know what? Actually, uh, helicopter's out for us. Wait to the helicopter. Yeah, I'm going to take this pack right here and I'm going to hand it to this lady right here. <laughs> I'm going to stand there, I'm going to look that way so I can't see what you're doing. I want you to give this pack to somebody else. Okay. Yeah? yeah. So I'm going to stand right here. I'm not peeking. Give it to somebody else. Yep. Has someone else got it? Yeah. Okay, now give it to one other person. Has someone got it? Yeah. Perfect. Are we happy that this person has been chosen at random? Let's have a look. Who's got it? Just hold it up. How you doing? You alright? What's your name? Eden, everyone. This is Eden. Step into my office. So, this is Eden, everybody. Now, Eden, you were chosen at random, and you've also been thinking of a playing card. Yes. You got one in mind, yeah? What was that card? Seven of Hearts. A Seven of Hearts. Did I make you choose that card? No, I just thought of it. You could have thought of any card, right? Because in the pack that you're holding, I don't want you to think I'm messing around or anything. I made a prediction. I'm going to go through like this, I'll do this really slowly. The seven of hearts what you chose, right? And there's one card in the middle there. Take a look. Show everyone. Oh my God. And we'll give you a massive round of applause. Thank you very much, you know? Uh, uh, up. Oh yeah, no, it's, 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 So now, now that we warmed up a little bit, I want to show you how to win the lottery. It's a technique I use that I call um, cheating. <laughs> yeah? You basically take tickets like this. You've probably seen these before in the shops. You've seen these in the shops, right? And you look like a winner. Does that look, feel like a winner to you? Maybe. Maybe. If it's a winner, you want it. All right. <laughs> we'll work it out. Ten old. All right, cool. So, um, I'll take the tickets like this. This is how you win the lottery, yeah? You just take them and just give them a 
shit, just like that. Go on. You get the money like this. But like I said, this is for charity today, so feel free to donate in the buckets. <laughs> I need someone else to help me out. <laughs> if I don't pick, I think she might cry. So, how are you doing? You alright? Um, just hold your hand out. Just squeeze your hand tight. Um, in fact, I need I need a bit of money. Has anybody got like a, a coin, like a big coin, like a two pound coin? Would be perfect. I can. Oh yeah. Perfect. What's your name? Mitten, this is Mitten's two pound coin. Mitten. Mitten. Ricardo. Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? I changed his name. <laughs> yeah? So I've got your coin, Ricardo's coin. What, I'm going to make it up from there. See what I got? Yeah? You saw it go up, right? But this time, this is the hard part. You're squeezing tight, yeah? Did you feel anything? No. That's what my wife says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously, you didn't did, did feel anything. I haven't been there, you have I? I haven't touched it. Open your hand slowly. That would have been good, right? <laughs> oh, but look, seriously, I haven't touched it, have I? Turn your hand over. Look underneath your watch. <laughs> <laughs> I think this belongs to you. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a massive round of applause. Um, I got a fiver. And who can help me on this one? You want to help out? Yeah. All right. Where are you from? Chile. Chile. Everyone, this guy's from Chile. All the way from Chile. So, I'm going to get you to do something now that you're in England, but it's illegal. Is that okay? Just sign your name right across the Queen's face right there. She'll love it. Perfect. So we've got Jose. Is it Jose? Yeah, is that right? Everyone Jose? On there. Take the corner. And Jose, I'm going to do something else that's illegal. Yeah? I'm going to get you to. I'll start it for you. Can you take over the corner and just tear it off? Can you hear me stuff? Yep. Yeah. One, two, check. One, two. Hello. If you can hear me, go, whoa! Whoa! Awesome. You alright? You good? Now you volunteered to help me out, right? I did. And you don't even know what I'm going to get you to do yet, do you? Let's try this. Uh... I've got some cards here. Are they all different? Yeah. All different, everyone? Yeah. Did 
show? <laughs> After the show. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody squeeze in. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Cool. <laughs> Bye, Chile. Everyone from Chile. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Jose. I'll miss you. So anyway, all different, yeah? Excuse me. Excuse me about some of that. Uh, so all different? Because I don't want you to think I'm cheating, I am. I just don't want you to think I am, yeah? We'll take the top card, the ball of clubs. Just write your name and your phone number on there. It's <laughs> <coughs> all right. That's fine. Uh, while I'm picking up, you can finish off with a phone number and your credit card details. Yeah? So, I'm just going to grab these real quick. Keep talking amongst yourselves. Sorry, sorry, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll leave Buzz there. I meant to put them on the floor anyway, it's fine. You've seen this show before, right? So, we've got, um, we've got Ella's card here. Yeah? You still with us? Still with us? Cool. So, Ella's car. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pop that in your mouth right there. Keep it right there, perfect. We'll get rid of these. Um, this, um, the next card, the Queen of Hearts. I'll write my name on this one. So I've got Dynamo on the Queen of Hearts. I've got Ella's card in the mouth and the rest of the cards on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even mine. Um, right, let's see, I'll try something with a few of you. So, grab one up. Grab one. Yeah, go for it, yeah, take one. Go on in. Uh, over this side somewhere. For you. If you've got a card, hold it up and remember it, yeah? Now he wants to get involved. Over this side. For you. Come on then. Like that. Ah, one for you, Danny. One for you. And we'll do two more, two more. So one for you. One for you. They should hold it up. So if you've got a card, remember it. Yeah? He's holding it up. Um, and hold it up so people around you can see what it is so you can oh, share. Yeah. It's good to share. Everyone got one? I'll take yours first. That's one. Two. I don't even know how many of these actually. Two. If you hold your card up so I can see. Yep. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep your eye on them as well, yeah? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen at the same time. I'm going to give them a shuffle, but I'll actually give them a, a, a dynamo shuffle. Looks like this. <laughs> Slow motion. Then we've got the first card. That's one. Three of hearts, that's your card. If I uh, take it and just rub over it, it changes to your card, the Queen of Spades. So that's the first two. The next one, can you see those two there? All right, if I got one card jumps in between them. King of Spades? Yes. You had one as well, didn't you? Just say stop. Right there, is that you? Yes. <laughs> If you take it and just visibly shake it like this, it changes into the fiber hearts, which is your card, right? Take a picture. 
Do you think that's actually yours? Right? Um, in my top pocket up here is your card. I got a pocket there, really. Uh, <laughs> if I spin it, it changes to the six of hearts. Jesus. Six of hearts? You want that one? That was you, right? Uh, let's see, who had the next card over here? Do me a favour, just quickly point to one, point to one. Pull it out. Is that your card? Yes. If I take this one and just rub over it, it changes to your card, right? Seven of diamonds? Did you have one as well? You had one, didn't you? Just say stop. Right there? Is that you? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take it and change it visibly. Boom. Queen of diamonds. How many more left? Put your hands up. One, two, three, three more. Did you have one as well? So just three more, yeah? Okay, the first one. the floor, right in front of you, the ace of diamonds. In my pocket, I've got one card here, the seven of clubs. And for the last card, I'll make all the cards disappear. And that's your card. I'm Diamond, well, thank you very much. Brilliant. Should we do one more? Yeah. yeah? Should we do one more, yeah? Okay, yeah? yeah? Right, I need, um, I need a few of you to help me out here. So, I'm just going to point to you, and if, if I point to you, just come out here. So, um, let's see. Uh, we'll try with this lady right here. How you doing? You right? What's your name? Karina. Karina, I just need you to do one thing. Name any number between 1 and 10. Number 3, yeah? So, Karina, name number 3. So, keep that number in mind, yeah? And if you want to stand here, because I'm going to get a few of you out here. Um, so, number 3 is Karina's number, yeah? Um, now, this gentleman right here. Step into my office. Give me a number between, say, 3 and 13. Number 8. You sure? Okay, so number 8. And your name was? Barney's number was number 8. So Karina number 3, Barney number 8. Um, the lady at the back there with a tattoo. Yep. Step, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? You alright? Um, give me now a number, say, between, what was yours again? 8. So number between 8 and 18. 14. Okay. Good. And the gentleman at the back with the hair. Yep, yeah, you. With the nice hair. Yes, you. Yo, yo. yo. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's your name, bro? Yo. yo. So, yo, go, give me a number between 14 and 24. 23. Okay, keep that number in mind. Just pop right there. The guy with a funny hat sat on the phone box. You all right? <laughs> uh, you can stay where you are, don't worry. Um, but give us a number between, well, yours was 23, right? So 23 and 33. 27. 27. Okay, great. So, 3, 8, 14, 23 and 27. So that's fine. I, really, I want one more number. <laughs> this gentleman right here, what did you say? 14. I want to go a bit higher, actually. Um, we'll, we'll, go to, we'll go say, what was the last one? 27. So we'll get between... Between 27, listen to me, sir. <laughs> yeah? Between 27 and 49. 53. 53, step in. No, that's. that's <laughs> <laughs> step into my office, sir. Alright. Any number between 27 and 49. Perfect. Excellent. Perfect. Number 35 is this number. We got there eventually. So, we have number 3. Number 8, number 14, number 23, number 27, number 35. Yep. Does anybody know the odds of me knowing all those numbers beforehand and being able to predict them? Anybody? It, it's actually 1 in 14,983,816. Google. Yeah. Um, now, to put that into perspective, the odds of being struck by lightning are one in 280,000. The odds of finding a pearl inside an oyster is one in 12,000. And ladies, the odds of being giving birth to quadruplets is just one in 8,000. So technically, there's more chance of me going to a fancy restaurant, choking on a pearl that I find in an oyster, being rushed to hospital, then being told I'm pregnant with quadruplets, and then on the way home getting struck by lightning, and me getting all these numbers right. <laughs> One in 40,983,816, which is also the odds of winning the national lottery. 
and I always place a bet each week. I've got one in my pocket for this week's draw. Right? Yeah. Right here, Ricardo, you've been the great help for this whole thing. I'm going to step into my office and can you read out the numbers no. for my ticket? Which, <laughs> read, read them out, read them out. Oh, 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 oh. Three, eight. Three, eight, fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-seven, thirty-five. And it's a genuine penny ticket for this weekend, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a ticket. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to make it. And remember, we're here for charity. So if you can always make any donations into these bookings, these days of the year, coming out volunteering. And, uh, and remember, after I've finished, there's plenty of amazing street performers who do this for a living. So come and make sure you watch their shows. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, put it in the bucket before you get a picture, we'll do pictures. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much.